Well, I promised and you guys absolutely delivered. Okay, now I'm gonna end the video here to not make it too long. And I'll make part two if we reach a total of 10 whole subscribers. Okay, goodbye. And here I am to continue this horrible series. Let me present to you part two of the every event in Christory tier list. Oh my, oh my, we finally arrived to the worst piece of Christian media. And when I say it's the worst, I absolutely mean it. What Chris is currently holding isn't just Fanta, ladies and gentlemen. It's Fanta mixed with Navy. He did this because he claimed that he recycled said sailors. And the human body had a limited amount of them. Not only that, but he also said that it tasted like what he recently ate. And so I grant this event the placement of Deep Depths of Hell. Good on you, Chris. The Axe Body Spray commercial in Sonichu is definitely something. So basically in chapter 2 of the Sonichu comics, Chris unironically places an advertisement for the deodorant Axe in one of the panels. And for the commoners who don't know the lore behind Axe Body Spray and Chris, well you guys are in for a treat. Basically, Chris doesn't like bathing at all. So this mofo literally marinates himself in Axe body spray and acts like if it's normal. Not only that, but in the comics he actually advises you to do the same. That replacing having a bath with showering yourself with Axe body spray is perfectly hygienic. To add to that, in the early years of Chris history, Chris was trolled by being told that Axe is used by gays and attracts gay people. And Chris took that seriously and started ranting on that Axe is for straight people only and that they should stay off our axe, you homos. And in typical Chris fashion, he advised the Forbes 500 company to put labels on their deodorants that claim that axe is exclusively for straight men and not gay people. The Horde is a staple of the Chandler household, 100% of it being caused by Barbara. In fact, Chris and Bob once attempted to clean up some of the hoarding, and Barbara literally threatened to off herself if they continued, which they obviously stopped to not provoke her. And this isn't the first time she threatens people over her hoarding. Another time she threatened to kick Chris out of the house if he dared to clear out some of the hoarding, once again preventing her hoarded crap from being thrown out in the garbage. Now just to put into context how badly the hoarding situation was, multiple rooms of the house were completely unusable due to the fact that they were packed with useless garbage. And with so much hoarding, it brought in an infestation which was so severe that Chris usually spent his time in his room not to get bitten by the insects. Which by the way are the same ones which covered Bob's body in bug bites before his death. And one last thing, the horde is also the main cause of the 2014 fire, which according to Chris, the fire started because there was a coffee machine situated in the bathroom and its extension cord was worn out which sparked and started the blaze. The original, the OG, the classic. The photo which represents it all. This is one of the few photos which single-handedly represents the entirety of Christry in a single image. His dazed out look, looking beyond. Not being able to fully comprehend what is happening. His classic Ralph Lauren shirt and his Sonic medallion. His messy room with his Legos and posters of Sonic OCs behind him. This photo truly represents it all. And with that, we arrive to the end of this video. Same as last time, if we reach this time 20 subscribers instead of 10, I'll release part 3 of this damned series. Okay, so long and good night.